Meanwhile, Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort has responded to the opposition's move to challenge the extended use of states of public emergency as a crime-fighting tool. Addressing the Crime Summit on Tuesday, she suggested it was hypocritical of the opposition to take the matter to court. Any extension of a state of public emergency has to be owned by both sides of the parliamentary aisles. The Attorney General also noted that since the changes in the new Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom took effect in 2011, it is almost impossible for the measure to be extended without the opposition support. The requires a two-thirds vote to pass. And the current administration does not have a two-thirds majority in the lower House of Representatives. But even if it did, the Senate also has to pass the resolution with a two-thirds vote. And constitutionally, two-thirds vote in the Senate can only be achieved with opposition support.